Hi there guys, we're back with the SOLIDWORKS introduction of step 4 and uh, in this case here we're going to simply uh, just enhance our skills on SOLIDWORKS uh, a little bit further on from BOSS extruding. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be selecting a surface and I want to actually draw on that surface. Remember you have to have it highlighted in blue. Uh, you can see you can actually highlight any of these surfaces for that matter in blue but it will only start sketching on the surface that you highlight. Alright, so we're going to do the top for now and I know that when I select or click on the actual surface it'll give me a little shortcut box. There it is, remember? We had this before and we see one that we do recognize is called normal 2 and this one will obviously bring it up to a 90 degree surface for us. Okay, so we can see it at 90 degrees for a nice accurate drawing. So we're going to go back to sketch and we're going to do one or two things. I'm going to go to my polygons. All right, and I can go and change my polygon settings for on, on the left hand side over here. I'm just going to go and change this to a five sided figure, which is a pentagon. And I'm going to go ahead and draw a pentagonal shape over here with a pentagon. Remember that is only a drawing. There's nothing more to it. There it is there. It's on the surface. And I also want to go ahead and draw a circle, for instance, on that surface. Now, remember, I haven't, you don't always have to um, normal two. But in this case, yeah, I want to see whether I've actually got an accurate drawing. So I'm going to just normal two. Right, now I have two drawings over there. Please remember when you select accept, those two shapes, both those shapes there will be sketch number two. To separate those two shapes as different sketches so that they both get edited uh, separately, you can go back into your sketch two and just simply go into the edit feature, the edit sketch feature. Then you'd have to go ahead and just go and delete one of them by simply uh, pressing the delete button but remember highlighting the one before and then rebuilding okay and to have that as a separate sketch remember now I have sketch 2 as only the pentagon I'd have to go back to sketch select the face that I want to sketch on and go ahead and draw for instance my circle in this case this will now have it as a separate sketch altogether you'll see this sketch 3 if you get a bit lost and you don't know how to or you don't know which sketch is which, you could simply take your mouse and just hold it over the actual sketches or slow click on the actual name. You will then be able to go and label it circle like so. Press enter and this one would obviously slow click over there. Not a double click, just a nice slow click and put in the your pent. All right, so I'm not going to type the entire name, but there it is there. You've now separated the two drawings so you can edit them both separately. I did this on purpose so that I could actually show you guys that when I go highlight this shape over here, I need to apply a specific feature. In this case, I want to boss extrude that feature. So let's have a look at what it wants me to do. Um, I'm going to make it 25 for now, just so that it does all fit into this screen. All right, remember yet again, we can drag this up and down, but I'm going to stick to 25. And yet again, when I'm joining another solid object to another solid object, I could merge the results. Now, merging means that it will see that shape and the shape as one shape. All right, if I don't merge them, I could simply delete the shape and it will have no effect on this one whatsoever. It will stay behind. All right, so I'm going to merge them as though this is one shape altogether. Then I'm going to click accept and you'll then see I've got a nice object extruded which is my pentagonal prism on top of my uh, rectangular prism. Okay in this case here also I want this hole to have an effect so I'm going to go to my circle I'm going to click on it and now I want to have something different happen to it. We use the extrude boss which is obviously giving me a boss body now I want to go and extrude it cut all right the cut means obviously I'm going to be cutting a hole through this object once I click on this cut button a whole cut extrude list of options come up on the left hand side just like every time I uh, click another button it'll give me that option for that button in this case over here um, I can change the direction of the cut 
by clicking this button here you see the effect or I can go and go and say well look you know I want to make sure that it goes through all the bodies that I have selected and you'll see that it actually makes sure that it goes through the entire body if you still are not sure um, blind and all through all those two options will definitely go right through um, you can also have it up to vertices mid plane will give you this kind of effect but you can go play around Okay, so at this moment, I just want to go right, right through all. Here's another option to flip um, side to cut. See what happens over here. It'll actually cut away the outside of the circle rather than the inside. Remember, these two are two bodies still. The cut has not taken effect yet. Okay, so I want the inside to be cut away as a cylindrical hole. Accept it, and that's what I end up with. All right, I hope this isn't... Uh, helped you guys and um, this will actually help you guys a lot with a lot of the shapes that you guys want to uh, start designing thank you for watching step four stay tuned for step five